moving from Ghana to America doesn't mean that I should do away with my culture. Right. You know, so I try to blend both, find my balance because Americans have their own culture. I also have my own culture. Mm -hmm. So that is what I do. And also reminds me of my mom. Mm -hmm. You know, I explore my identity using uh, my materials, which mm -hmm. is fabric, yarns, um, and the clay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So whatever you see there is fabric that I ship from um, from Ghana. Okay. Yeah. That is the history, the complex history that I reflect on to reveal my identity mm -hmm. as an African living here. So I finished my work with um, with African fabrics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, I seek to explore dualities mm -hmm. um, because. I'm an African living in the U.S. I have um, dual identity, but my decision of using this specific yarns is the colors, mm. being um, Ghanaian colors and American colors, mm -hmm. and I, I mean, braid them to blend both cultures, like what I'm doing right now, trying to find balance. When I was a kid, I used to see her braiding her hair a lot, and I asked her mom, "Why do you always braid your hair?" Mm -hmm. And she said. I look beautiful when I do that. Mm -hmm. So coming here, doing that, I feel like it draw close to me and also symbolizes beauty. Mm -hmm. So that is my decision of braiding. This make me happy, mom. Mm -hmm. This is what I want to do, yeah. you know, so.